Hello friends, it's LC. Welcome to my channel. If you are new and if you are returning, welcome back. If you are a regular viewer of my channel, you may know that I moved recently. So I had this blank canvas behind me to work with for my office to create my new YouTube backdrop. So today I'm gonna to take you through the process of setting up my space. It was honestly pretty easy and it only took me a couple of hours to put together. I think it's honestly something that a lot of you could recreate in your own homes, even if you don't have a lot of money. So hopefully you find some helpful tips in this video for setting up a space of your very own. All the products that I purchased for this space, I will put in the description box down below. But keep in mind that I purchased these products in Canada, so they might not be available in your country. I'll try to find an equivalent link for some of the items that I either thrifted or were given to me. So let's get into it. But before we do, please don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoy it and to subscribe to my channel. So to get started, first I decided to get the hard parts out of the way and construct everything that needed to be constructed, which was the curtain rod and the curtains, the floating shelves, and the cube shelves. The curtain rod and curtains were honestly just cheap ones from Amazon. The curtains took forever to steam and still aren't wrinkle free to this day, but I'm not made of money, so shrug. But the floating shelves were thrifted and pretty easy to hang, though getting them to lie flat was a bit tricky. And then the cube shelf was from Bed Bath & Beyond and fairly inexpensive. It took me about an hour to put that together. Once I put all of those items together, I decided to start with the left side of the room first, where one of the floating shelves and the cube shelf would be going. Special thanks to my husband for helping me film these parts. He was really sick and still offered to help, so best husband ever. How are you feeling? Tough, tough. Next, I hung my favorite poster from my favorite BTS album. I honestly just used scotch tape. There's probably a better way to hang these, but your girl is lazy. Next, I got these battery-powered marquee letters from Amazon which were more for my channel than the K-pop decor, of course, but if you like the look of the shelf, you could always put picture frames or albums or a candle or plants on here, lots of different stuff that you could do. Next was putting the cube shelf into place where I may or may not have scratched up the floor, sliding it in where I started by putting my BTS albums that I own, which unfortunately didn't all fit in the cubes because of the Map of the Soul 7 albums, but I still think they look cute on top. Next came the Namjoon approved bonsai tree, which I really hope I managed to keep alive. Josh said it looked like if I pulled on it, a mandrake would come out. After the bonsai came my 80s albums with a cute little succulent that was only $3 from Home Depot, plus another baby pot that I thrifted. After that, the pièce de résistance, which are my BTS and 80s light sticks. I found these really cute light stick holders on Etsy. The owner was super nice and included additional stuff in the order, like a bookmark, photo cards for your bias, stickers, and it came really quickly in the mail. So definitely check her out on her Etsy shop, which I've linked in the description. Next came my only Stray Kids album that I own, which is Ordinary, hopefully more to come soon, and the little pop-up photo that came with it. Then I got some 6x8 frames at Michael's for my 80s OT8 prints that came in the albums I got. They were just $7 for the frames, and you can honestly print these photos for free at home if you don't have any albums, so I just placed these frames on the shelf along with another cute succulent, again for $3 at Home Depot, and with a thrifted pot. Lastly, I placed my Life Goes On photo frame with Yoongi's painting print and my little baby Chimmy headband. And that makes up the cube shelf. 
finally to complete this side of the room, I placed the fold out poster from Stray Kids' Ordinary album on the wall. And here is the complete left side of the room. Next came the right side where I placed another floating shelf along with two painted canvases with thread art of Love Yourself Answer and BTS's logo that a friend made for me. This is another really inexpensive piece you could add to your room since it's super easy to make and only costs the price of a canvas, some thread, some paint, and if you get multiple canvases that thread and the paint can go a long way. Then I added my light box that I got as a gift where I added my signature phrase for my channel. Then I placed my fuzzy pink chair I got from Structube, which is a Canadian, slightly fancier Ikea in the corner. Along with my baby chimmy and Shooky plushies. Next came honestly probably the most frustrating part of this process, which were my string light photo clips that I got from Amazon. It's 9 feet long and has 20 clips. I wanted to use these to display my photo cards and I ran into a couple of issues where one, it just kept getting tangled, two, the, the clips don't move on the string, which was kind of a bummer, and then three, the clips just were not lying flat on the wall. So again, my handy dandy scotch tape just ended up using that and closing the clip on the tape to keep it flat against the wall. I'm honestly still trying to think of a better way to do this, so if you have any suggestions, definitely let me know in the comments. Then once I finally taped everything down, I wasn't able to hang all my photo cards, so I had to double up on some members, but I ended up giving two spaces for each of my biases, which are Changbin, Hongjun, and Shuga. At this point, Josh was really tired and needed to go to bed, so I used my ring light to record hanging the posters, which I got from my different albums, but again, if you don't have the money for albums or posters, you could print some pictures, put them on your wall, and then none of the AT's albums that I got came with a poster though, so that was kind of too bad. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that I also follow Dreamcatcher and Tomorrow by Together, but I don't have any merch from them yet, although I did pre-order the latest Dreamcatcher album, and I think that one comes with the poster, so I'll probably take one of the BTS posters down to put that up. And I also hope to get some TXT merch soon. Last but not least, I have this end table, which honestly my mom got for me, <laughs> so I don't know where it's from, and I placed it next to the chair, along with this struck tube lamp, a marble coaster, another cute little succulent, and some stand-up photos from the Butter albums. Later on, I ended up moving the table to the right side, and I also added a wall calendar that I got for Christmas, this cute little geometric wall plant holder that my boss got for me, and then this fluffy poof I got from Wayfair. And that is it! So here is the complete project in all its glory. So I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you got some inspiration for your own setup, and again you can find all of the product links in the description down below. So thank you so much for watching, I hope that you stay safe, that you take care of yourself, and I'll see you next time!